Hello everyone, it's me, Power Dog. So today I'm doing a video of my Jamaica wind ceiling fan after a few months of use. So first, before I play actually testing it on all speeds, I'm just going to talk about it. So um, I haven't checked how many months I've had it now. Um, when I'm when I'm making the video, I'll go back and check how long it's been here, but it must have been here for at least a month, and it has it has no problems except except for it's it's wobbly. It's very wobbly now, but besides that, nothing has really changed with it. So. I, I don't know if this regulator was here when I last recorded it. I have a computer down here now. But I, I don't know if this regulator was here or if it was a transformer one. But um, I have a capacitor regulator because when I had the transformer one, it, it would overheat very quickly and the fan would run extra slow. So I just replaced it with that one and it works fine now, so. I think I've, I've cleaned it like two times since it's been put up. And one thing I noticed is that there's like irreversible stains on the, on the blades. I, I've tried scrubbing them off, but they don't come off. Like last time I cleaned it was like, I think last week. So I'm gonna get a shot of the information sticker. kind of see my phone through the thing yeah. all it really says is 110 volts you can see it's Jamaica wind and I have it on a, a J hook but the J hook is facing the right way so it's not gonna fall um, okay now let's test it on its speeds okay so starting with low speed can see it's wobbling. I, I don't know if I might have damaged something when I removed the blades to clean them because it, it wasn't this bad before. It's also making a bearing noise which I don't remember if it was doing that last time I filmed it but it kind of happened out of nowhere. It started making this bearing noise. I'm just used to it now. But someday, I think the bearings need to be either they actually need proper oil or they need to be replaced. So. There's a very light breeze on low speed. Let's go to speed two. Yes, this isn't original. This is I, I already told you. There's no point repeating that. It's still a light breeze and you can really hear the bearings now. It's wobbling a little bit less. Oh, by the way, I have no idea how old this ceiling fan is. There's no date sticker. But to give you an idea, um, the office that it was from had this computer monitor, which is from 2003, so... I'm guessing that this fan isn't new, which is why it's making so much noise. Um, okay, this is speed three. Now it's getting noisy. I'll use this to test the, the breeze.
Okay, and while, while we're here, I'll just point out this exhaust fan. I don't know if anyone wants a video of it, but I, I might do one at some point. And now let's do speed four. Now it's getting really noisy. You can hear the air noise and the bearings are like very loud. I don't know if you can hear the wind through the fan. I mean the microphone on the phone, but in real life I can feel it. It's, it's actually pretty good compared to the last fan I had here. Now speed five. I never use it this fast. I have no reason to use it this fast, but this is what it's capable of. I got this over here too. I don't, I don't think I did a follow up with that. Okay, let's turn it off. And it has a long spin down. Probably a good part of that is because of how heavy it is. Because the weight, if the motor is heavy, it's most likely going to take a long time. And it also has metal blades. So it's probably gonna take a very long time. Oh, and yes, I, I, I still have the second fan identical to this, but just, my plan for that is that when this goes bad, I just replace that with a matching one. Or if somebody wants it, um, I just give it to them. So. And yes, when I was up there cleaning it, um, I don't even know what I was doing to cause a part of the ceiling up there to look like that. Um, it's really messed up, because if you remember, there was a Westinghouse here before, and I did um, replace that with this because this is more powerful. I was right, this is taking extremely long. I don't have enough time for this. See, it's... I'm gonna go get my thermometer to test the motor temperature. Since the only information that this gives us is the voltage and frequency, um, the only way to really determine how much it consumes is the temp how hot it gets. So. Let me just turn on the... ...42.1 degrees Celsius, which is 107.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's how hot the motor got after that test. So... This was Power Dog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.